What's up you guys, Jedi Master Josh here and today I'm going to be opening a Star Birth booster box. Now Star Birth is the Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars expansion in Japan basically. So before Brilliant Stars was released in English, Japan had this Star Birth. Now Brilliant Stars does have some other cards in it that didn't come from Star Birth, which is a Japanese set, but... The other sets that it pulled from would be like, I'm pretty sure it was Space Juggler and Time Gazer, and then whatever the set was just before Starbirth, I always forget. If you guys remember what it is, let me know in the comments down below. But, I haven't been able to open a Japanese booster box in a very, very long time, and I've never opened one here on the channel, so I'm really excited for this one because I went to my local game store, and they actually had these for sale in the store. Now, they were a little bit more expensive than I remember them being at about $90 a box, but that's not too bad. It's a little bit better than having to order them from, you know, some Japanese retailer and then pay all the extra shipping costs and things like that. I really want to pop this one out and get it all set up, so let's see if we can do that without destroying it too much. There it goes. Okay. All right. And so, now this thing is being a little bit tricky to me. I want to get this over with. So Okay, there we go. All right, let's talk about this booster box here. So in Japan, when you get a booster box of Pokemon cards, at least especially this set and then more modern sets, there are going to be five cards in each pack, and then there's going to be 30 packs in each box. So it's, you know, it's not the same as getting a booster box from English, but it's, uh, you know, it's still a pretty good amount of cards, and it's quite a bit cheaper. But let's go ahead and dig into these cards. Now, the one thing that is a little bit different about Japanese cards is that with a booster box, you're actually not guaranteed, uh, with a pack, one of these packs, I mean, is what I meant to say, you're not guaranteed a holographic rare, you're not guaranteed um, a reverse, you're not guaranteed anything like that. You could get basically nothing in a pack, but <clears throat> you could also get something really awesome. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this first one. Now you'll see, you notice I put one card from the front to the back, or from the back to the front, however you want to say it. Usually the rare is going to be the second one in, but let's take a look at the back of these cards. I love the backs of Japanese Pokemon cards. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can get from this first pack. So it looks like we're going to start off with Muck, and this is going to be a lot of fun because the names aren't actually on the card, so we're going to have to kind of like guess as we go. But we've got Sneasel there, Sock. As the next one, a Crawdont or Corfish. I can't remember which one that one is. And then, oh, check it out. We start off with a Charizard V. Now, that is huge. Awesome. Sweet. So, the first pack being a V pull is actually pretty, pretty great. So, you guys will see as we go through this box. I'm going to go through a little bit quicker, but I'm going to slow roll a couple of these at first just because I do love Japanese cards. And in my opinion, I think the Japanese card quality is significantly better than English so you know let me know in the comment comments down below what you guys think about Japanese cards what you guys think about Japanese versus English I'm trying to open it from the wrong side but these are gonna be a little bit harder for me to open just because they're not the same as opening English packs so it's gonna be a, just a little different you know but let's go ahead and move that first one to the front and let's see what we can get out of this next pack we've got ourselves a probo pass there all right and then we've got another sneasel and then we've got a throw instead of a sock. And there's Corfish, not Crawdon. Okay. And so let's take a quick look. But you'll see there's only 100 cards in this set. So the really good cards, like this is not going to be a secret rare, I don't believe. This is going to be within the set. So 14 of 100. But a lot of the like alternate arts and stuff are actually secret rares in these uh, Japanese sets. So we've got a Clefable there. And that's the end of the pack. And I just want to double check here. I'm pretty sure that... Um, Oh, I forget how the how the rarity symbols work on Japanese. Okay, we're going to have to put that. I, I was just about to say, I, I don't even think you're guaranteed a rare in a Japanese pack, but I could be mistaken there. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys what you guys have heard. It's It's been such a long time for me opening Japanese packs that, you know, this is actually just more excitement for me because I haven't done it in so long and haven't collected Japanese cards in so long. So this is, uh, this is really cool. Let me know in the comments also if you guys like Japanese cards, if you like to collect Japanese cards, or if you guys are strictly English, or maybe you collect some other language of cards. I know there's a lot of different languages of cards you can get. 
I have, a, I have a few friends that actually like to collect German cards, specifically German cards. Oh, check that out. We get an Arceus V-Star out of this. This box has already turned out amazing. We get a Charizard and an Arceus right out of this. Th these first couple of packs, this is great. All right, let's go ahead and put this up into the pool pool, up next to Charizard here, and we'll keep moving along. And at the end of the video, I'll do a recap, and we'll look at all the cards that we pulled, but... Yeah, basically, just let me know in the comments down below, you guys, what you guys think about these Japanese cards and Japanese booster boxes. My LGS that I typically go to just recently started stocking some in. They had Time Gazer and Starbirth, and that, that was it. And so I was really, really debating on whether I wanted the Time Gazer or the Starbirth, but I thought I have to go with Starbirth because it's basically brilliant stars. But check that out. There's Heat Ran. All right. Yeah, all these cards. Look at the centering on all these cards and everything. The cards from Japan, they're always just so much higher quality. Such such a great, you know, <clears throat> I don't know what it is they do over there, but all the, the quality is much higher. The cards are much nicer. Everything about them. The artworks, they, they, I mean, they even have, like, all these silver borders and stuff like that on their cards instead of the yellow borders like we have. So everything about Japanese cards, in my opinion, is just... A little more premium, if you ask me. I know, I know a lot of English cards tend to hold higher value, which I always find very interesting and strange at the same time. But let's go ahead and see what we can get from this next pack here. And let me know, you guys, in the comments. So we got Go Lurk there. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Japanese cards are better? Do you guys think English cards are better? Do you think, like I was saying, like German cards are better or something like that? Now, something that's really cool that's actually going to make the Pokemon TCG kind of explode, I think. It's going to get really, really big now. Um, Pokemon's going to be legal for sale in China soon. And what I mean by that is that up until very recently, uh, Pokemon cards were banned from China. Or, like, China just didn't sell them. And there was no Chinese you know, language Pokemon cards. So it was really, you know, if you wanted to get Pokemon cards in China, first of all, it was, I think, I'm pretty sure it was just straight up against the law. But, oh, there we go. We get a Bibberol holographic card there. That's actually a really nice card. I'm going to set that off to the side, and we'll hold on to that. It may not go into the pull pool, but I want to make sure he's, you know, nice and safe. But, yeah, so China is going to be getting Pokemon cards in their own, basically, there's going to be Chinese Pokemon cards, you know, so that it's going to be, it's going to be really awesome. I think that's actually super cool. It's going to expand the, you know, player base, which is huge. So when we get like world's competitions and things like that, we're going to see even more players showing up uh, because, you know, we're basically going to be just adding China is practically probably going to just about double the player base. If, uh, if there's enough players, that is, but we've got cast form sock Duskull, and a Boss's Orders holographic. Check that out. We got Cyrus on the card there, looking menacing. I'm going to set that up there next to Biberil, Biberil, because uh, I actually really like that Boss's Orders card. I play a couple in my deck. Let me know if you guys play Lysander, or if you guys play Cyrus in your Boss's Orders. Uh, do you, or do you play the uh, full art uh, Giovanni? I think Giovanni has a Boss's Orders. Now, I'm, now I might be talking talking out of my ears here, you know, not not knowing what I'm saying, but let's go ahead and pull out this next pack and see what we can get. I need to kind of speed this up a little bit so that we can get through these just a little bit faster. But all right, we've got Golurk, Burmy, Empoleon, oh, that's not Empoleon, that's Primplup, Sigilyph, I think, and then Cynthia. And I think it's Cynthia's Ambition is what that card is, if I'm not mistaken. I I haven't opened enough uh, Brilliant Stars recently to remember exactly what all the cards are, so I might get something wrong here. When we start getting to, like, item cards or other trainer cards, uh, you know, uh, I know Sharon is in this set. I know Sharon's Care is in this. I'm pretty sure Sharon's Care is in Brilliant Stars, right? Let's, we'll find out. Let's go ahead and see. But one from the back to the front, and let's see what we can get here. We've got a Magma Basin. We've got Grottle. Cast form, regular form, Duskull, and another Burmy evolution, a Wormadam. We've got ourselves a little worm. Basically a, what is it, a bagworm? That's what it's supposed to be, a bagworm. That's the bagworm Pokemon. Let's go ahead and dig into our next pack. We haven't done super great these past few packs, but not too bad. You get 30 packs in each box, so 
It's a lot of packs to go through. There's only five cards in each pack, but, you know, it's still... <clears throat> I still think it's pretty good, especially since I will argue it again. I've already said it enough times in this video, but I will... Con Ooh, there's a choice belt. Not bad. But, yeah, I'll argue it for the whole video if I have to, but... I th oh, my goodness. No way. We get Arceus V-Star and Arceus V. Check that out. You know what's really awesome is... Oh, wait, I'm going to have to check that V-Star real quick. So we've got 83 out of 100 for Arceus V and 84 out of 100. Okay, so, so far, we have not pulled a secret rare yet. So we're we're supposed to be guaranteed one to two secret rares per box. So if this has been a heavy Charizard and Arceus box, I would be blown away if there was the Charizard or Arceus secret rare in one of these packs. So, and in Japan, and J uh, blah, 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 in Japanese, the secret rare would be the golds, the rainbows, or the alternate art. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and check out what's in this next pack. Oh, check that out. We got Magmortar and Electivire right there. I didn't even, I never even recognized that Electivire was also in there. We got Piplup, Sigilyph, and then a holographic this guy who is this guy i can't remember we're gonna pop that off to the side and we're gonna forget about it for just a few seconds and uh if you guys want to remind me in the comments of who that is because for some reason it's slipping my head i'm just more excited about all these arceus and charizard cards we pull Ho hopefully we can get some more i'm gonna start moving a little bit faster now and hopefully we can get through these packs a little bit quicker here but let's say uh what Ooh, we got a we, uh, is this Tornadus? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Tornadus, but hopefully we can get something really good out of one of these next few packs. We've got a Lapras there as the rare, or well, not even a rare. I don't think Lapras was a rare in this set, but yeah, no, let me know. Like I said, I probably sound like a broken record at this point, you guys, but if you guys want to see me open some more Japanese sets, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like the Japanese sets, let me know in the comments down below, and then also answer this question for me in your opinion now again everyone this is just everyone's opinion so you know everyone's opinion is their own everyone's allowed to have their own opinion but what do you think there we go we get a shaman full art while i'm trying to talk but okay shaman v full art check that out so amazing look at the texture on that card wow that looks so good all right let's go ahead and slide that into a sleeve but okay the question the question is, do you think Japanese cards are better or English cards are better? I personally actually truly believe that Japanese cards are better. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. I just think the quality of the cards is so much higher, you know, and the way that they release the sets is so much nicer. The way that the sets are built is so much nicer. It feels like it's a little bit easier to collect Japanese sets, like as a whole, than it is English sets. English sets, it's like this giant lottery. You know, you're constantly just packing and packing and packing, trying to pull the cards that you need. Whereas, at least with a Japanese booster box, you're guaranteed a secret rare, or at least, you know? So you're, you could open a whole booster box in English. I want to check the Shaman real quick. Is this a secret rare? It is. So there's 101 of 100. So we've hit our first secret rare, you guys. Now, it's not the greatest secret rare, but... Maybe we can get a second one, you know? It's 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 happened before. It's happened before to uh, to myself back in the past, and uh, I've also seen it before in plenty of other people's openings, and so there's the chance. We've got ourselves a Floatzel there, Monferno, Turtwig, Clefairy, and a Collapsed Stadium. I think I'm doing pretty good for trainers and trainer cards and, and uh, stadium cards and stuff like that. I haven't... I think I think I'm guessing I'm right. I'm I'm doing I'm doing okay. Let me know in the comments, you guys. So, but yeah, if you guys want to see another Japanese booster box opening, just let me know. Do you guys want to see me do another Starbirth opening, or do you want to see Time Gazer or Space Juggler or something like that? Just let me know in the comments down below. Now, obviously, if you're gonna say something like, "Oh, do base set," you know, I can't afford to buy base set. That's that would be insane. If I could, I'd be opening it right now for you guys. But. Maybe one of these days. Let's see. Oh, we got a Flygon V. All right. Not too bad. You can't, you know, you can't really have a Brilliant Stars opening without a Flygon, right? Flygon has to show up somewhere. We'll go ahead and pop that up into the pool pool. Like I said, I know the pool pool is kind of hard to see right now, 
but we'll go over what we pulled at the end of the video. We'll look at everything all at once and just kind of kind of get a gauge of what all we pulled from this box. So you guys can maybe make some decisions on your own. If you want to buy a booster box, a Japanese booster box, this is kind of what you can expect to see. And so let's go ahead and put that one to the front there and see what we can get next. We have a Motham exec Executor, right, 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 Buizel. And this is a Staravia, not quite a Star Raptor, I think. And what do we have behind? We have a Lucario holographic. Look at that. The full card is holographic. The pictures, this, like I said, I, I'll, I'll continue to say it. And you guys can let me know in the comments how you feel about it. But I just, I just gotta believe that Japanese cards are way better. Look at the quality of this card. All right. We'll go ahead and pop that off to the side. And we'll start moving into our next pack. I know I'm kind of stalling here a little bit. But I haven't opened Japanese in a while. So I'm super excited about this. These are great. I mean, and a lot of people, you may not realize this, but Pokemon started in Japan. So this is this is the homeland here. So we're this is the way Pokemon cards were meant to be opened and the way they were meant to be looked at, you know? But that's just me. Let me know, like I said, in the comments what you guys think. I can't that's bottles of water, right? I, it's just it's just bottles of water. We've got ourselves a muck as... <clears throat> Ooh, I'm starting to get something in my throat. We've got a muck to finish that back. We still have a few packs left, so we're not doing too bad here. But we are kind of dwindling down towards the end, so I'm really hoping we can pull at least something else pretty nice, you know? And if we can pull one more secret rare, that would actually be insane. But let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this next pack. We'll put one from the back to the front, and we've got ourselves a Wormadam. Different kind of Wormadam, a Nose Pass, a Buizel, an Execute, and a Moltres Holographic card. Check that out. That's actually really awesome. All right, we'll go ahead and pop that one off to the side as well. And we'll go ahead and move these other cards off to the side. I'm making an absolute mess. So many packs. Let's go ahead and dig into this next pack. I've done really well about going left and then right and then left and then right. That's that's. I have to give myself a pat on the back for that one later. But let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this pack. Hopefully something good. Let's get that Charizard alternate art, please. That would be so awesome. Or the Arceus. I'd take, I'd take any of the alternate arts, actually. We've got a Staraptor. We've got a Gibble. Minchino, or Chinchino. I think it's Minchino, yeah. And then a, that's got to be Grimer, right? If the other one's Muck, that's Grimer. And then a Luxray, or Luxio. I, so Luxray and Luxio, I always mix up. I constantly am mixing those two up. So let me know how you guys remember which one's which down in the comments. Let's see what Arceus has in store for us. All the pack arts are Arceus, so it means Arceus is blessing every one of these packs for us. Right, you guys? If you guys like videos like this, please do leave a like, you know, on the video. Also, comment, like I said, if you guys want to see more. We got a double turbo energy there. Awesome. But if you guys want to see more of these, just leave a comment. And then also consider subscribing to the channel. If you guys subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. It's completely free to set up an account on YouTube. And then you can subscribe to all of your favorite content creators and help them all out. It's super awesome. It's a really great community to be, to be a part of as well. So let's see what we can get into this next pack here. And uh, yeah, I'd really like to open some more Japanese booster boxes. I'm just debating whether or not I should do it for videos like this. If you guys want to see them or not. If you guys do want to see them, then absolutely. I would love to open them on camera with you guys. But uh, if not, I'll just open them by myself, I guess. <laughs> We've got Nose Pass and a Raichu V. All right. This has been a really good box. From what I'm looking at, we're at six ultra rare hits. So a V or better. Six ultra rare hits from this one box so far. That's really, really good, actually, you guys. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a little bit better, maybe. Maybe we can, maybe we can just a couple more. Maybe just a couple more. Even just one more. One more will be just fine, right? And we'll take one more. I, what I'd really like, actually, instead is to get one more secret rare. That would be really cool. Let's see what we can do here. We've got one to the front, and we've got an Electivire on there. Now, Magmortar was in... Oh, there he is right there. So, Electivire was in Magmortar's photo, and then Magmortar's right there in Electivire's photo. That's kind of cool. All right, we've got Shroomish, Gibble, Crawdont, maybe? Or Corfish, one of the two. Ooh, and I... Holographic Dusk Noir? I think that's that's what it looks like. Yeah, check him out. Wow, that's insane looking. All that holographic. It looks like he's got like 
these shadow balls getting ready to launch at us. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, we're not sleeving him up. What am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> it's a nice card, but I, I we don't need to sleep that. Okay, let's go ahead and move these off to the side. We'll get into our next pack. I was just getting too into looking at that shadow ball Dusk Noir there. He was getting... He, he looked angry, you know? I wanted, I had to keep an eye on him so that he didn't fling one of those shadow balls at us. I hope I did not just tear up the corners of those cards doing that. That was rough. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got ourselves another Wormadam, a Cast Form, Magmar, Spiritomb, and a Collapsed Stadium. you got to double up on some of these cards, right? Because if you didn't have multiples of some cards, you couldn't really build a very good deck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and... Like I was going to build a deck out of Japanese cards, but, I mean, eh, maybe I will. Maybe one day. That would be really cool, actually. But <clears throat> I wouldn't know how to play it because I can't, I can't, the, see, here's a secret, you guys, if you guys didn't know this about me, but I can't, I can't read Japanese. So, uh, yeah, I, I would not be able to play the deck, unfortunately. Well, let's go ahead and see what we've got here. We, ooh, Bear Tick. I think it's the first time we've seen both Bear Tick and Electabuzz. We've got a Clang there. A little bit of a far-fetched running through. Let's take a look at that again. That's actually hilarious. Look at him running through the field. He must be running from somebody. But yeah, I think this is a yep, Tomokazu Kamiya. That's a very wonderful artist. All right, we're going to go ahead and slide those off to the side. It looks like we have like four packs left in here, maybe five. Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can get some luck. Wish us some last packs magic. Last packs. Last pack. Last packs magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish us some last packs magic. <laughs> we'll see what we can get here. Oh, we've got the uh, pot helmet. I think this is that's what that is. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, please. We got Shinx, Cub Chew, and a Charizard V Star. This box has been awesome. We got a Charizard V and an Arceus V. And then we got a Charizard V Star and an Arceus V Star. Look at the artwork on that. That's amazing. Now just imagine if we hit one of those as a secret rare. That would have been super great. All right, let's go ahead and put that there. And we'll pop the rest of these cards off to the side. Yeah, I think we're down to about three packs left, you guys. So hopefully we can get something. Ooh, it's four packs. All right, that's a that's a pleasant surprise when you get one extra pack, right? It's, it's not one extra pack. It's just one more than I thought it was. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of these final four packs. I don't know who was selling these boxes or where the my LGS got them from but they 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 let go of a pretty good box check this out we got a Whimsicott V star now this is insane we're actually we're actually packing some some heat here we're packing some heat with this box all right that's that's an insane amount of pulls for one box i i always remember japanese boxes being like five ultra rare pulls you know it's like usually around five or more and we're at like seven, I think, or eight. Yeah, we're doing we're doing really well. Okay, so let's see what we can get out of this next pack here. Come on, let's get one more secret rare. That would be so cool. I I shouldn't complain. I'm I'm kind of getting greedy at this point. We've we've done very well. Oh, we got ourselves a mana fee there, a throw, a sneasel, a Prinplup, and an Ultra Ball. All right, the Ultra Ball artwork, perfect. Creme de la creme. Awesome. Ultra Ball artwork. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can get out of these final two packs. There's two packs left. We've got to get something good out of one of them, right? Even if it's just a regular holographic rare, I'm perfectly fine with that. But, uh, yeah, sorry if this video took a little longer, first of all. The packs are just a little bit harder to open, being that there's less cards in them. you got to be a little more careful. Try not to destroy the cards. But we've got ourselves a Kling Clang to start off. Magmar, Pachurisu, Piplup, and a Torterra holographic. Check that out. I think that's actually a fantastic looking card. And Torterra looks like he's like looking down at us like, what's up, man? What's you want some of this? No, no, no. We don't want any of it, Torterra. You 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 sit down. Relax, buddy. We're we're friends. Everyone is friends, okay? We're we're all friends here. We've got our final pack, wish us some last pack magic, you guys. Again, like I said, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on this video, commenting down below. If you want to see more chi uh, Jap Chinese, maybe, maybe we'll do a Chinese booster box when they come out. Yeah, heck yeah, that would be actually really cool. But if you want to see more Japanese booster boxes, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. Like I said, my LGS has more Starbirth 
and some Time Gazer. If they have Space Juggler, I could pick up one of those also. I'd like to do a Space Jugger, Juggler and Time Gazer booster box opening, like both of them at the same time. But as you can see, this video has already been pretty long. And so I don't know if I could do two booster boxes in one video, but let me know if you guys want to see something like that. Let's take a quick recap look at everything we pulled. I've been saving all the holographic rares, or it's they're not guaranteed to be uh, rare, I guess. I, I did sleeve one of them. How did I manage to do that? I sleeved the Lucario, but let's take a look at these cards. Oh my gosh, they all look so great. Like, they look amazing. Japanese cards are beautiful. They're awesome. We've got Torterra, Dusk Noir... Moltres, Lucario, this Professor, who I'm forgetting. I gotta believe this is a Professor's Research card. We've got a Boss's Orders with Cyrus and a Bibberol. But now this is the real treat of the hour, the, the main ticket of the hour right here. Look at this stack of pulls that we got, you guys. These are amazing pulls for one box, to be honest with you. We've got a Whimsicott V-Star. A Charizard V-Star, probably one of the best pulls of the box. We've got ourselves a Raichu, or what am I, what am I saying? A Raichu, Raichu V. We've got a Flygon V. Like I said, you can't have a Brilliant Stars opening without Raichu, <laughs> without Flygon. <laughs> I can't talk now. And then we've got the Shaman V Secret Rare. So this is a Secret Rare in this set with Starbirth. Now in Brilliant Stars, it's not a Secret Rare. It is in J Japanese. And then we've also got the Arceus V. And then we started our day with an Arceus V Star and a Charizard V. What an insane box, you guys. Again, thank you for checking out this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.